Hey, welcome. I'm Lawn Side Safety, and this is a video on some fifth wheel issues that we tend to experience when we're out here in cold weather. So, right here I got two fifth wheels. Both are Kenworth, but they're the two different styles of uh, fifth wheels that we experience here at UPS. We have the older version of the Holland and the newer version of the Holland. A lot of the newer versions come with the automatic release. But now as they're replacing these older ones, they're putting the new style on, on the older style. And it just doesn't have the, the release button, so you just still have to manually pull it. But what we tend to experience in this cold weather is sometimes it, you'll just have a couple issues trying to hook up to the pin. It just won't go latch around or even sometimes releasing. It just won't fully release for you, uh, manual or auto. It, it's, it's usually the grease. The grease is usually getting like extra tacky. Yeah, it's a little thicker when you have the cold temperatures. And as much as we hook up and release trailers, we tend to get a lot of grease. Um, so if you're experiencing any of these issues, issues hooking up, issues unhooking, go to the shop. The mechanic may just need to spray some lubrication on some of the friction parts that the grease doesn't reach, or you may have another serious issue, but you want the mechanic to make that assessment. So sometimes the lubrication just needs to be around the handle, uh, your indicator bolt, you know, not a lot of grease gets on that shaft. So we, we just need some lube on that, some lube on your handle. We're all, there's a little bit of friction underneath with some of these um, linkage parts, just needing some lubrication. Get everything sliding free again. Now in the old style, same thing. It's got plenty of grease on top, but sometimes the parts with the linkage underneath with the handle, just needs a little extra lubrication. Remember, all the salt on the road, all the salt brine, it just tends to stick and, and get everything stuck. So in the older style fifth wheel with the handle, so when you hook up to the pin, it bounces back, shoots in. But sometimes right here, we get a little bit of wear and a little bit of wear on this nub right here. And what happens is it gets stuck so when you go to hook it's just caught it's caught on like a lip a little bit of spray there a little bit of extra spray there it helps keep that slide happening and it will also show you that when you go to hook up and you're experiencing that all you have to simply do is pull the handle back and it should kick over latch around the pin always go to need to double check your so here's an example of the handle actually being stuck probably caught in a little bit of a wear and tear groove, a little lip there, so the handle's a little caught. And then when you go in underneath to check the pin, you'll see it's latched around the shank of the pin, but the knuckle is not out. So all I have to do is kind of pull that handle to get it released off that, that little wear and tear lip, and it'll latch around the fifth wheel, latch around the pin. it's around the shank of the pin and the knuckle is out I would do one more test tug just to verify but a little extra lubrication on a lot of these friction joints will help another little tip with winter weather and these fifth wheels is you don't want to have snow build up or ice build up on your fifth wheel you may think that when you go to hook up to a trailer uh, the trailer will knock it off but what it could actually do is create a gap and enough of a gap where your fifth wheel will not latch around the shank of the pin so let's make sure that's clear I know we don't want to get grease all over our brushes but we have to find a way maybe a piece of a wood uh, maybe a piece of wood from a skid just kind of scrape it off make sure it's clear uh, that's all we have for you today with our winter weather and fifth wheels and uh, thanks for stopping by